What's up guys, Five Star Paintball Tech here. Another time capsule gun alert. We have Peter's Tri-Fade Species Intimidator. He just bought it. This thing was at, definitely a wall hanger in its past life. It looks like it hasn't even had a shot through it and it's in such incredible shape. Look at this thing, guys. It's uh, It came in actually for a rebuild and tune. This thing was a real head scratcher, to be honest. Um, I, and I had a problem with this that I've never seen with another Intimidator. Um, the uh, gun got rebuilt in tune like you usually did. New O-rings, new Schrader valve seals. That at least gets the gun sealed and shooting. The gun shot, but uh, we were having some velocity issues with it where it wouldn't go above about 180 feet per second. Usually, there's two, tail si two telltale signs uh, when this happens. First one, uh, solenoid is on its way out, which it was. Um, we replaced that immediately. Um, that ended up getting the gun to a high of about 260 uh, feet per second. Still not shooting 300, no matter how high we cranked up the uh, high pressure rig, which obviously isn't uh, what you want to do for these things. Um, so ended up uh, breaking it down to the uh, poppet. That's the second uh, thing that contributes to uh, low velocity issues. Um, what can end up happening, and this is over a million shots, guys, or a high, a very high amount. Um, keep in mind, is that um, over time the actual poppet stem that the ram hits uh, will deform over time and uh, cause velocity issues. I don't know the exact science behind it, but you could see it actually happen with uh, LV1's pretty common problem. Um, and again, it, it takes a lot of shots to make that happen. Um, inspected the poppet on this thing. It looked pristine. This gun clearly hasn't had many shots through it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it was just a really weird issue. I compared it to another uh, poppet that was known to work and then found the culprit here. Um, the poppet needs to be a certain length in order for it to be able to open up completely uh, and shoot the gun at 300 plus feet per second. Um, so what happened was that the uh, poppet stem was screwed too far into the cup seal um, and therefore was making it a lot shorter than it should have been. Um, anyways, that was the that was the issue. Ended up getting fixed. This thing's th hitting 300 feet per second, no issues. It's a stupid fast shooting gun, really, really smooth. Peter, you're gonna absolutely love this thing. And you're about to see, it's uh, it's actually hailing right now in New Jersey. Uh, so we're about to put this thing through a, uh, a real pressure test to see how it handles pain. Um, outside of that, guys, not much more to say. You know the deal. Let's get to the good part and rip on this thing. Check this out. 292, 290, 277, 293, 295. So dialed right into the 290s. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, this thing's so effortly fast. The species trigger is one of my favorites. It is so smooth. It handles paint like a champ. Peter, this is an awesome gun, man. Enjoy, brother.